Hello there, and welcome back to our channel. It is our pleasure to have you here to learn all about how the law of attraction affects everything. Big things are easier to create because you think about them more. Big things are easier to create because there's more life stream going to them. There's more attention from non-physical on them. But what trips you up in the big is that in the acknowledging that it's a big thing, you've got a bigger resistance. So you've just got to find a way of softening that resistance. If you can hear this, then you're off and running. If you can wake up every morning and think the thoughts you want to think, then nothing can keep you from anything. The thing that's tripping you up is the distinction between, in other words, you are equating so much effort with so much money. And so, you know, that's what you meant a little bit when you were saying, I know that I can do the work. I know that I can do the hard work because I am limited by the amount of effort that I can offer. In other words, if I'm thinking in terms of dollars for effort, then I can only offer so much effort. There are so many hours in a day and there are only so many people willing to pay me equivalency for what I'm offering. Right. So you have to stop looking at your earning in terms of equivalency for effort and begin looking at your receiving. Let's change the word earning to receiving and let's change effort to vibration, to personal vibrational offering. Can you hear the difference? Because if it's about earning an effort, then you're right. You're limited to how much you can do. You're limited to how many things you can accomplish or to how many people that you can convince about the value of what you're offering. But when you understand that it's not about earning, it's about receiving and it's not about effort, it's about vibration. So it's not about doing, it's about thinking. And it's not even so much about being aware of your thought as it is being aware of how you feel when you think the thought. Now you've got the formula. It really is as simple you. and you sort of have to figure out how to work this out. It really is as simple as if your desire or dream goal if it pleases you when you think about it, then you're in the right vibrational stance. But if it feels like disappointment or it feels like a challenge or it feels like something that you haven't figured out yet, or it feels like a dilemma or it feels like injustice because you see others have figured it out and you haven't. So you really have to think and feel and think and feel. So what you do is you dream a little about what you're wanting. The thing that trips a lot of people up is that they want a state of being like they will say, I desire enough financial abundance that I can do whatever I want. The money isn't the means to the happy life. The happy life is the means to the money. But how can I feel happy in this moment when I'm working harder than I want to work on things that I would rather not do? And we say, because you have the ability to think around it. First, you have the ability to appreciate more of what you are doing. You have the ability to say more positive things than negative things. You have the ability to look for more positive aspects and fewer negative aspects. You have the ability to appreciate others more than criticizing them. You have the ability to appreciate yourself more than criticizing yourself. You have the ability to focus even when you're just looking at what is in a much more productive, meaning good feeling way. And if all you were doing was just looking into your now for things that you could appreciate or praise, you would shift your vibration enough that it would raise to the vibrational level of what's in your vortex of what you've been dreaming about. But what's tripping you up and it trips almost everybody up is this comparison between where I am and where I want to be. Let's say that you've decided that you could use an extra $10 million. <laughs> oh, you'll get that easily. But we're talking about right away. We're talking about regularly, monthly. <laughs> we're talking about a lot of financial remuneration coming your way. So let's say you've decided that you want that. And let's say that you spend a little time thinking about it like all of your life so far and you really do want that. You want that. If we were to say to you, do you have desire? You would say, oh boy, do I ever, I have this powerful desire. So you've got that desire in place, but we don't want to hurt your feelings. And since we are teachers of deliberate creation, this may not go down well with you, but it's probably not going to happen today. So 
if you're looking for that $10 million today and not see it, then you're likely to be offering a vibration about the absence of the desire that you want. But you could, if you were willing to be unconditional in your creation, you could find a feeling of prosperity. You could find a feeling of well being. You could acknowledge what having abundance feels like. You could remember moments of feeling prosperous, or you could remember having seen something that made you feel that way. And you could accomplish right now in one minute or two minutes or five minutes, you could accomplish in this day, the uncondition, the vibration that matches the uncondition of that abundance. And if you do that, if you do that and you do that often, then it is our absolute promise to you that that manifestation must come into your experience and relatively quickly because you will have done what almost nobody does. You will have held the vibration of your desire and no longer contradicted it by facing reality. You see how that works? If you just heard that you have just captured for yourself the key to accomplishing, to being or doing or having anything that you desire. But you've got to get your eyes off of what isn't happening because law of attraction is bringing you whatever is active in your vibration. And sometimes the more you want something, the more what is active in your vibration is the fact that it has not come yet. So you've got this yearning, even hopeful. So how is it that things do manifest? How do you, because it is you doing it, it is not anybody else doing it. How do you turn your thoughts to things? How do you turn the vibration that you have launched? How do you turn it into a manifestation? How does it become actual? How do you see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it? What makes it real? Most people never even think about that. They just look around the world at the things that are already real. This what they consider to be finite pile of whatever good stuff they want. And then they just squabble over it. But you are creators. You have come to create your own pile, not to try to find someone else's and get them to give it to you. They don't want to do that. Step one is ask and ask comes out of the contrast that you're living. So you ask and launch these rockets of desires. Step two is source answers that rocket of desire becomes the vibrational equivalent of it is the vibrational equivalent of it offers a vibration of it stands as the accomplishment, the achievement, the fulfillment of what you've asked for your inner being stands there as the fulfillment of all of the desires, all of the composite desires, all of the amended desires that you have launched in a vibrational reality. If you've been listening to us for a while. You may have read the book, The Vortex. That's what that is. That vibrational reality. We wanted you to feel the synergy of it. We wanted you to feel the calling power of it. We wanted you to realize that this vortex, this spinning vortex is calling to its center all things that you've asked for. The question is, are you letting yourself be called to it? Are you in a vibrational place where you are allowing what's vibrationally accomplished by you to be perceived by you in what you want to call real life experience. We're talking about how you can accomplish a vibrational stance that puts you in the receptive mode so that first the idea occurs to you and the emotion comes with it. That's the first manifestation. That's the first indication. That's the first turning of it from a thought to a thing. And once that thought from a vibration to a thought, from a thought to an emotion, there it is. It's alive and it's real. And if you can be happy, this is the key. If you can make yourself happy for a little while, with the uncondition of the thought and the emotion. If you can say, ah, oh, I got the best idea and it felt so good to me. It feels so good to me. And I'm so happy with this idea and not be mad at yourself or at somebody else that the idea hasn't come to full fruition where you can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it right now. You're just feeling it and knowing it and expecting it and glad for it. If you can hold yourself there just for a little while, it is our promise to you that that vibration will gain momentum and your ability to perceive it will grow and grow and grow until you'll be rendezvousing. You'll find yourself talking to people that know doors will be open for you opening for you and you will be recognizing it and you will find yourself this compliant cooperative joyful component of your own creation being guided to the culmination
Did our video satisfy your soul in some way? Thank you a million times over for your help. We appreciate it more than you can imagine. Don't forget to leave us a comment and hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it. See you later.